Hi, and welcome to BlackCanvas.net's second art lesson. My name is Angela Stott, Kaidin Sayakea, and today's lesson is about value. This is a, a chart that runs from the highest or lightest value, which is white, to the darkest value, which is black. You create the shades in between by mixing black and white. More white than black on this end, and more black than white on this end. Black is a very dominant color, so you really want to be very careful about how much black you're adding to your white. You can go straight to a dark charcoal gray almost immediately. If you don't be careful with your very dominant color of black. What I'd like to show you is with one pencil, you can create the same gradiated effect by pressure. On the first one, we're going to push very lightly, and we're going to use the white of the background, which is the paper, to mix in your mind, it's called mu optical mixing, and it makes it a lighter shade or tint of this color. On the next one, I'm going to push a little bit harder, and I'm going to show a little less white and a little bit harder and a little less white etc etc the next one is even more pressure but you're not pushing as hard as you can at this point because you want to get a medium shape so you've got a pushing medium pressure and a little bit harder and a little less white and a little bit harder and a little less white and as you get down towards the end here you'll notice that I'm still not pushing as hard as I can but mostly I'm taking the white of the background out and this next one same thing and then the last one I always tell my students push as hard as you can without breaking my pencil <laughs> yeah we have fun in our class so this last one I am pushing as hard as I can without breaking the pencil and showing as very little white of the paper behind it so now we have created a radiated scale of this color pencil from the lightest tint to its darkest shade by using pressure so the next part we're going to do is by using color. You can mix colors to create tints and shadows, or shades actually, which we can use as a shadow. Our color, first color is going to be green here. I'm going to take this green and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of white. And that's going to be my tint of this color green. Tint being the lighter value. Green. Now you could take this green, you mix it with blue, and make blue green, and it would be a shade of the green. Now you could also add uh, purple and make it a lovely brown, or you could add black. In this case, we're going to add black. So you have to be very careful because black is that dominant color. We don't want to put too much black into the green. We want to show that it is a darker green. This is awfully black. She's so sweet. Kind of an army green. Follow me. Now we use value in colors to create interest in our abstract painting. If we did all light values of colors, it makes a soft, misty look. If you do all dark values of color, you're going to get this dark, moody feeling to your painting. If you put high contrast in bold colors of high contrasted values of color, you're going to create an emotion. Could be whatever colors you use. Could be angry. Could be sad. It really would depend on what kind of mood you were trying to uh, convey to your viewer. The last value of color I'm going to show you is just by using color. If we have our color is orange, for instance, we take orange and you could tint it by using yellow. 
if you use yellow, you're going to make yellow orange, and it's going to be a lighter tint of our color orange. But in this case, I'm just going to use yellow. You could use, you could leave it as white, because white is a lighter tint of orange. But in this case, yellow works really well. Now you can darken, you can shade the color orange by adding browns, by adding black. But black is kind of muddy and orange. It doesn't look very good. It kind of makes it muddled. So I'm going to actually just use the color red. Red being a darker value of our color that we're working with, which is orange. So today you learned some very interesting terminology, light, dark value, light value, high value, low value, um, how to use pressure to create with pencil the different values of the color, and how to mix colors to create tints and shades, or to use just color and use to make tints and to represent the shade of a color. I hope you are... Um, able to use these in your next painting and when you're thinking about it and you're trying to create something very interesting by using a value of color you'll have the tools to use it most people who do abstract art do it naturally and those of us who don't do it naturally get to use these tools the color wheel the value light and dark values of color to create interest in our work so that is our lesson on value. Thank you for joining me. I'm Angela Stout for BlackCanvas.net. Thanks.